Welcome back, everyone. It's Charlie. So this morning, if you didn't see, the internet was going crazy because everyone thinks that Henry Cavill is going to be the new version of Wolverine in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So I'll explain why that is and what's really going on with X-Men during Marvel Phase 4. Because even though some of the rumors you might hear aren't true, there is X-Men stuff happening during Marvel Phase 4. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the Marvel videos. There's going to be a bunch of big stuff coming up. We're doing that big Infinity Saga box set giveaway for all the Blu-rays. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and let me know what you want them to do with the X-Men during Marvel Phase 4. So we'll just break this down top five style, starting with number five. If you didn't see it earlier today, a bunch of websites and low level blogs were reporting that Henry Cavill was going to play Wolverine in Captain Marvel 2 of all movies, which Marvel is getting ready to film next year. We know that Captain Marvel 2 is happening. They've already confirmed it. But already you should start seeing some red flags when you hear Captain Marvel 2 and Wolverine mentioned in the same sentence. But naturally, the internet did the thing that it always does when a fan favorite actor, everybody loves Henry Cavill, is rumored to be playing such a popular character that everyone has been wondering about for a couple years now since Hugh Jackman said that he wasn't going to be doing Wolverine anymore. Of course, everyone wants to know what's going to happen with the future of the Wolverine character. So a little while after that, what happened was is that a ton of higher level legitimate news websites picked up the rumor and it started spreading like wildfire without anyone really bothering to get confirmation. Even websites like Just Jared and Entertainment Tonight Canada, legitimate websites that post behind the scene pictures for major movies and do a lot of legitimate coverage of stuff, did whole articles about Henry Cavill Wolverine written as if he were actually going to be doing it. Thankfully, most of you probably saw the headlines, did a double take and had the good sense to realize that it's probably not true for a number of reasons. But we have to acknowledge number four WTF. Yes, there is major X-Men plans in the MCU right now. Kevin Feige confirmed back at the Marvel Phase 4 Comic-Con panel last summer that they are working on new X-Men movies and integrating mutants into the MCU movies. This is a clip of him explaining how that's going to happen and how the Marvel X-Men, the new Marvel X-Men, will look different from the Fox X-Men. Are you guys not looking to go the route of a traditional X-Men titled uh, movie for those uh, characters? I was, uh, mutants and X-Men are interchangeable. I just said, I just said mutants. Um, but yes, whatever we do will be quite different than what's been done before. And I also want to ask super quickly, uh, why Blade now and why Mahershala? Uh, they're the same answer. Blade now because of Mahershala, and Mahershala because he loves Blade. So what he's saying means a lot of different things. When he says Marvel's X-Men are going to be different, he means the characters will be introduced in a very different way. The new core X-Men MCU team will come together in a very different way. They'll look very different, as in they'll be different actors because they'll be recast, not including Deadpool. Ryan Reynolds will still be Deadpool, don't worry about that. But physically, they'll also be wearing very different looking costumes. Obviously, everybody points to the example of Wolverine's yellow comic book costume that Hugh Jackman always laughed at and refused to wear. They even had a whole joke in the Logan movie of how X-23 was this big X-Men fan and had grown up reading the comics, thinking that Wolverine ran around in a yellow costume like that. And then Hugh Jackman's Wolverine tells her, no, we did have adventures, but they didn't look like that. And I didn't wear a costume like that. You may remember that Kevin Feige did have early Marvel Phase 1 plans before the first Avengers movie to integrate X-Men and even Spider-Man into the MCU. There was this deleted scene of an Iron Man post credit scene where Nick Fury comes to recruit Iron Man of the Avengers Initiative. In the deleted scene, Nick Fury references X-Men and Spider-Man verbally, which because it was happening in 2008 also implies that it would have been Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man to cross over with the Avengers. And this was all for the first Avengers movie. As if gamma accidents, radioactive bug bites, and assorted mutants weren't enough. I have to deal with a spoiled brat who doesn't play well with others and wants to keep all his toys to himself. Who the hell are you? Nick Fury, director of S.H.I.E.L.D. I'm here to talk to you about the Avenger Initiative. Well, what are we avenging? Whatever the hell we want. The reason why there was no X-Men Avengers crossover back then or even Spider-Man Avengers crossover is because at the time, Kevin Feige couldn't reach a deal with Fox or Sony for the characters. Took him more than 10 years, but we're finally there. We finally got X-Men. We finally got Spider-Man back. Currently, there is some X-Men stuff happening in the WandaVision episodes that are going to be airing later this year. I'll explain that in a second. Number three WTF though, Henry Cavill can't play Wolverine practically mostly because he's locked down under contract for The Witcher Netflix for multiple years and multiple seasons. Toss a coin to your Witcher. He did a great job during season one. Toss a coin to your Witcher, oh valley of plenty, oh valley of plenty. 
There are all kinds of compilation videos out there of him grunting angrily for hours and dropping F-bombs. And I know a lot of people are also claiming that he couldn't play Wolverine because he's so huge. He's literally massive. I don't consider that a knock against him potentially playing someone like Wolverine. I mean, Hugh Jackman was over six feet tall and he was a great Wolverine. If you're not a big comic book reader though, the reason why a lot of people complain about Wolverine being too tall is because in the comics he's supposed to be closer to 5'3", which is tiny by comparison to people like Hugh Jackman who are way over six feet. If you weren't around for it, way back when they first cast Hugh Jackman, people complained for that very same reason. And if you can believe it, when they were getting ready for that first Fox X-Men movie back in 2000, the most popular fan cast for the Wolverine character was Bob Hoskins. So it just goes to show you that internet fan casting does not always lead to the best pairings of actors with characters. Just because an actor looks like a character doesn't mean that they'll be good in the role or that the movie will be good. You also have to keep in mind that Henry Cavill still wants to be Superman at DC and if he were to do any kind of role no matter how small at Marvel that would be the nail in the coffin to him never being Superman again. Number two WTF, the other big red flag in those rumors about Wolverine should be that he's going to appear for the first time in Captain Marvel 2, a space-based character. Why would Wolverine, of all people, debut in a Captain Marvel movie? It just sounds ridiculous. Those two characters don't have any real comic book history together. They've only loosely interacted during big crossovers. There are a billion other Marvel characters that would be a better fit for Captain Marvel 2, like giving adult Monica Rambeau her comic book powers after she shows up in WandaVision. As an adult, she's working as an agent of S.W.O.R.D. for Nick Fury during the events of the WandaVision episodes. We don't know exactly what she's doing, and we don't know if she has powers yet, but then there's also the Blue Marvel character, also fan favorite comic book character, who just spent a couple years in the Ultimate Comics in outer space with Captain Marvel. If you don't want to wait for the first full-blown Marvel X-Men movie in Marvel Phase 5 to introduce Wolverine again, a Wolverine vs. Hulk movie would probably be the best place to put him, because he debuted in the comics for the very first time in the Incredible Hulk comics, so why not introduce him in a Hulk movie? In number one, WTF, the current X-Men stuff right now that's happening in the MCU on WandaVision is through Scarlet Witch and Vision's comic book children, the twins, Wiccan and Speed, that they're doing on the TV show. You all saw the WandaVision trailer. There's a couple of scenes where they jump forward in time through the decades as if they're living in a couple of different sitcoms through the years. She starts out in black and white in a 1950s sitcom looking like Donna Reed or the Dick Van Dyke show where she gets married to Vision. When they jump forward into the 70s in a very Brady Bunch looking house, she's super pregnant with the twins. Then they jump into the 80s and it looks kind of like family ties. The twins are in bassinets looking like they're levitating their pacifiers with their powers. Then they jump forward into the 90s and it looks more like Roseanne and it seems like there's a bunch of kid drawings on the fridge like they've become grade schoolers and they're much older. Kevin Feige said that they're going full-blown comic book Scarlet Witch during the series so I think it's implied that she's going to help create these realities and then once it seems like they're going to crumble she refuses to let the children die with the reality and finds a way to bring them back into the real world. That way you have a Wiccan in speed that can then go on to cross over with any future Young Avengers project or any other Disney Plus series or movies that you would want to put them in. So that's our full-blown X-Men stuff happening inside the WandaVision series. But obviously a lot of people just want to know where the core X-Men characters like Cyclops, Wolverine, Jean Grey, Professor X, Magneto, when are they going to show up? So there is X-Men stuff happening during Marvel Phase 4, but just don't expect to see Wolverine for a long time and don't expect it to be Henry Cavill when he does show up. So if it wasn't clear from my video, I'm saying that the Henry Cavill Wolverine rumors are probably not true. Everyone let me know in the comments, when do you want them to do a new version of Wolverine in the MCU and who's the actor you want to be that new Wolverine? I've got a couple other Marvel Phase 4 videos that I'm working on. The Venom 2 trailer will be dropping in the next month or two. There'll be a bunch more Morbius trailers and more Spider-Man crossover Easter eggs. So everyone click here for my brand new Spider-Man 3 video and click here for all my new Avengers Infinity Saga deleted scenes. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.